cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A Tampa man is sick of driving over a speed hump that is in the worst location for him. Yeah, that hump in the street designed to slow down traffic along North Boulevard is so close to his driveway, it's damaging his car. So he knew he'd better call Bacon. Jen Keith, this man tells me he complained about this hump as soon as he bought his house a year ago. He says the city promised to move it, but recently came up with another suggestion that he couldn't believe. Mike Hammonds loves his new home and his neighborhood, but says something has to be done about this annoying speed hump. Every day when I leave and come back home, I keep hitting this bump. It knocks my steering out of alignment, and it's just a nuisance. It's become more of a trouble with uh, worrying about cars hitting you from behind because there's no signs telling you that there's a speed hump. The hump runs right along his driveway, and it's this dip that's bringing the most problems. The city, Mike says, promised to fix this when he moved in a year ago. The supervisor met with me and came out and did a survey and said he would move it uh, up the street just a little bit. Uh, fine, waited a couple months, nothing happened, called back. Then the hurricanes started happening and I knew that they had their hands full, so I waited another three months, called back said it was still on the books to get done, called in December, still on the books. Then things changed. They suggested that I move my driveway. <laughs> so tell me about that. Their suggestion is that you move right. this entire drive. Where would you even move it to? I have no idea. I mean, it's attached to my garage. And wait, there's more. They said the city doesn't have the equipment to move the speed hump anymore. Do you buy that? No. <laughs> I called the city and was told they'd look into it. Days later, I was told this hump will be gone within two weeks. I did ask the city about that comment that they had sold the equipment that they used to remove the speed bumps. I was told, or I was actually not given an answer quite on that, but a city spokesperson did say that this hump should be gone again within the two weeks, and I will make sure to follow up on this to make sure it actually happens, Jen. Okay, so it's going to be gone in two weeks, but where is it go? Is it going somewhere? <laughs> is it moving? Is it just being erased from existence? What's happening? We didn't get clarity on that, but I was told that the original plan was to move it just a little bit further down the road, and that's what Mike tells me he wants. North Boulevard is a very busy road if you've ever been there, and with new construction up and down the road, it's getting even busier, and Mike says, though, it's time that they think about where these humps should go and move them to a more logical location. Sure, they have a purpose, but like mm -hmm. you said, the neighborhood has changed, so it's time to make some adjustments. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.